you mean you have packed your things out of his house and left for good? What? I'm telling you. No, that's too bad. And I am even complaining of Caleb. Omo, yours is worse, so I can't deal with a mommy's boy at all. Amanda, Caleb is a good man and doesn't have any problem. You're the one cutting on the problem with your feminist bullshit. Well, any man that doesn't see the need for equality is a problem to me. Wow, look. Amanda, I'll call you later. All right, dear. Please take care of yourself. I'll talk to you later. Mom, this is not right. You literally brought another woman into my home and chased my wife out of my house. Point of correction. I didn't chase your wife out of the house. She chose to leave. I only brought another woman to make you happy, since Mabel is making you unhappy. But I don't want another woman. Why can't you understand? You are beginning to come in between me and my wife. And what about Mabel trying to come in between us? If you be very honest with yourself, you know that Mabel has always loved and respected and accommodated you as a mother-in-law. But you are the one always crossing your boundaries. So, I'm beginning to cross boundaries in my son's house. Is that what you're trying to say? No. You know what I'm talking about, mom. Listen to me, son. What a child cannot see while standing, an elder will see while sitting. I'm your mother and I have seen more days than you. I've had more experience and above all, I care about you more than anyone else in the world, including Mabel. I want your happiness. But you're not making me happy right now. Your actions are frustrating me. You think it is, but in the long run, you will thank me later. Let Mabel go. Folake is a very good woman. She will make you happy. And above all, not try to come in between us. Why don't you seem to get it? I'm not a child anymore. Leave me to make my choice and decision. I want that gay out of my house before I return. It's now you remember that you are not a child anymore. You are still my child and we do as I say. Folake is not going anywhere. You can't do that. I'm the man of this house. <laughs> Look at who is claiming one of the house. Please go and sit down. This is so unfair, mom. This is not fair. Good morning, love. How was your night? Don't. I don't get you. I should be... Don't what? Don't you dare come close to me. I want you to go in there, pack your things, and get out of my house. What? Why? By the time I come back to this house, I don't want to see you here. But why don't you like me enough? Am I not more beautiful than your wife? Shut your mouth, and don't you dare mention my wife ever again. Just be out of my house before I return. My life is in such a mess right now. I don't know how to go about fixing it. I can't throw my mom out of my house. It would break her and she might fall sick. She will even see me as an ingrate and wicked child. The worst is that Mabel is not even picking my calls. I can't afford to lose my wife because of my mother. I love Mabel so much. I know where she is. I'll go and beg her. I know she'll be back. I hope my leaving the house will make Frank finally man up. If not, I'll just give up on him completely. Has that scene and your mother left the house? No, I'm in a really tight corner right now. Then we have nothing to talk about. And don't you try to touch me. If you love and respect me enough, you won't have the infantry to come here and still spill this trash. You know I love and respect you more than anything in the world, even more than my mom. 
Um, I wasn't expecting the last line, though. Please, just give me another chance. Let me prove it to you. You have to prove it to me before I come back to the house. I've given you lots of chances, but all you do is disappoint me each time. I don't have any more chance to waste. If your mother and that thing doesn't move out of your house, then we don't have anything to talk about. Have a lovely day. Sweetheart, how are you doing? Please don't be annoyed. I will send you the money today. But you promised to send it yesterday. I don't like this promise and faith. You know what? I will make it two million. That's my man. I love you so much. I love you too. You will see the money today unfailingly. Alright, love. I will call you later, okay? Okay, bye. Really? Don't you even have any atom of respect for me? I am the head of this house, and I don't owe you any respect. You are the one that holds me respect because you are under me and I provide all your needs. You sit in front of me and profess love to another woman, and you still have the guts to tell me that you owe me no respect. How shameless can you be, Richard? How dare you open your mouth and call me shameless? Have you lost it? I'm tired of you treating me like a trash. Don't you get it? I'm human and I deserve even if it's a little respect as your wife. Oh God, any strange woman that wants to take over my home, receive fire. Oh God, please fight my battle. Give me victory. Touch the heart of my husband in Jesus' name. <laughs>